secret side of me I never let you see I keep it caged but I can't control it yeah. I feel it deep within It's just beneath the skin I must confess that I feel like a monster I hate what I've become The nightmare's just begun Yo, what's up my bitches? I'm back and I'm better than ever now today uh this is a, a standard uh battle here against uh cyborg uh eighty nine from youtube and this is for team equinox's uh tournament uh if you don't know what team equinox is or don't know what it is there is a uh form website in the link of the description on your right and there's also a zat chat there uh go check it out if you wish because there's a whole lot of great ballers there there's like magnitude there to be the man is there, uh, MBZ is there, and um, there's just like really good battlers there, and you should definitely go check it out. So, a um, bunch of shit happens, and I bring in my Gyarados here on the Scizor, and um, yeah, he's gonna switch out and he goes into his Electrovire as I go for the taunt because I really didn't want that Scizor to like, set up Sword Stance. And if he does bring in the wall, then that's really good, because then I'll taunt it, like, early in the game, of course. So, um, I predicted the, uh, electric moves, so I go into my, uh, Ooxie here. And, uh, he went for the hidden power, predicting the switch. But, um, I don't know what hidden power that is, so I really have no clue. So, then he goes for the thunder as I set up my rocks, and then I got, like, really confused, like... I don't know why he's running Thunder, maybe it costs more power, or maybe he's running a Rain Dance team. That could be an opinion, but I don't know. It's just way too early to figure that out, of course. So, um, I bring in my Mints here, and I'm just gonna go for the Earthquake, in case he might predict a Draco Meteor and go into Scizor. I'm just gonna go for the Earthquake, and I do KO his, uh, Electivire, which is pretty dang nice, and all that stuff, so, yeah. Um, now he brings in his, uh, Swampert here, and, uh, he set, he does set up rocks, which is not good, cause I do have Mens and Gyarados on this team, which will take a buttload of damage from the rocks, and I really hate that, so, yeah, I U-turn out, and I go back into my Mens as he switches into his, uh, Queer Drop, and I'm just gonna go for the Draco Meteor, because he hasn't even seen it yet, and I'm just going to surprise him with a Draco Meteor. And that's going to take down his uh, Kingdra. Which is pretty dang nice. And that will be a one hit KO. So. Out comes his uh, Crobat. And I switch out. And I go into my Uxie here for Death Father. But he roosts. And um. That's just annoying. Because all that damage that I did. Is now wasted. And I got to figure a way how to kill this thing now. So he sets up a rain dance. I'm thinking crap. Crap, crap, crap. I am, but luckily I did kill his Kingdra, which could have been a real, real pain to me in the rain, but yeah. Um, I did predict the switch right there into a ship swimmer right there, but I get the Parahax, and I was gonna go for the Thunder Wave there, and that was really, really annoying, cause I could have paralyzed that, um, Quillfish. And I could have a chance to like, you know, one hit KO'd it with my uh, Mids' uh, Earthquake without having to worry about it outspeeding me and stuff. So, I bring in, watch me fly, motherfuckers! And it doesn't have motherfuckers in it, but that's why I'm naming it. I'm naming it, watch me fly, motherfuckers, but then it dies by the explosion. And I really do want to try out that Latias because it has max HP and max physical defense with Resto Chesto. And I really did want to try that, but... I never got the chance to use it, which really sucks, and I really do want to show you show you guys how much this Latias kicks ass, but it just ended up getting his own ass kick anyway. So, I bring my Gyarados here, and I go for the Warfall as he brings in his Scizor, and he goes for the Bullet Punch. It's not going to do anything because I double resist that. No, wait, I just resist that. I don't double resist that. What the hell am I thinking? Moving on, um, I don't know why he switched here, um, I just go for the waterfall just to hopefully kill the scissor and just get it over with, but he brings in his crowbat and that just puzzles me, to be honest, um, but then I see waterfall's not doing a lot, so that 
is starting to piss me off because this crowbat does not have any attacking moves but it is annoying the shit out of me so he roosted again and I predicted that roost so I went for the dragon dance here which is a very good play on my part and um, yeah uh, I just go for the uh, waterfall here because in case that he predicts my stone edge and goes into Swampert I want to dealt as a much much uh, damage on the Swampert because I know Swampers are very very bulky and I do really want to take that thing out with at least a 2 hit KO of course so um now he realized that if he keeps this up I'm just gonna end up critting him sooner or later so he's just gonna go for the Super Fang and that will like do a lot of damage because Super Fang does like half to your HP amount that you have and um I do end up finish him off with a uh, waterfall so out comes the Swampert and I go for the uh, waterfall here and um I do get the flinch but it really doesn't matter here at this point because I do have like four out of pokes that can like easily take it out and stuff so yeah um, I bring my infernape here just for the lulls and maybe I was predicting the ice beam or something but he goes for a waterfall and I'm thinking okay that makes no sense but god damn it you just ruined my fun because I really want to grass knot that motherfuckers ass seriously people come on Anywho, uh, I bring in my mints here, and I'm just gonna be like, Draco Meteor to the first motherfucker! And then Swapper dies, so yeah, Patrick is a beast! So yeah, um, so now he brings in his scissor, I know Bullet Punch is coming, so I'm gonna switch out, and I'm gonna show him my last, which is my own scissor, Jericho! And he goes for a bullet punch, and that's not gonna do crap because Jericho is a beast. And this is my uh, double priority scissor that you know I, me and Josh have been working on and so forth. So I just went for the bullet punch for the KO, and that will take down his um, scissor. So that was a good game, uh, Cyborg uh, 98. I will be moving on to round two in uh, Team Equinox's tournament. So please check that out if you haven't. Um, Chat. Also check out Team Equinox's uh, forums and there's that chat, a uh, lot of good people on those chats and all that stuff so um, yeah. And now it's time for today's question of the day and today's uh, question of the day is what is your favorite dragon type move? My favorite dragon type move is has to be Draco Meteor because come on it's like a dragon summoning the power of I don't know some ancient wisdom or whatever it gets like these whole bunch of rocks just go like bam 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 just a bunch of rocks just hitting the motherfucker or whatever so leave a comment of what your favorite dragon type move is and uh, don't forget to comment right and subscribe and uh, yes I will check you guys later peace out bitches